Once, Buddha's disciple came to him feeling healing angry and frustrated. He explained that a man had insulted him and he couldn't stop thinking about it. Buddha listened to his disciple and then asked him to bring a handful of salt. He then instructed his disciple to put the salt in a glass of water and drink it. The disciple did as he was told and Buddha asked him how the water tasted. The disciple replied that it tasted bitter. Buddha then asked him to throw the salt away and drink the water again. The disciple did so and found that the water was now clear and tasted fresh. Buddha then explained that the man who had insulted him was like the salt and that his anger was like the glass of water. He explained that while the salt was there, the water would always taste bitter, but once the salt was removed, the water remained clear and fresh. He taught his disciple that anger and negative emotions are like the salt and they can cloud our judgment and make us unhappy. But if we can remove those negative emotions, our mind will remain clear and fresh, just like the water. Buddha's teaching highlights the power of our mindset. Our thoughts and emotions shape our perception of the world and they can either help us or hinder. A positive mindset can open up new opportunities and help us find joy in our lives, while a negative mindset can hold us back and make us miserable. When we focus on negative thoughts and emotions, we are more likely to attract negative experiences into our life. But when we focus on positive thoughts and emotions, we attract positive experiences. This is why it's so important to cultivate a positive mindset and focus on the good in our lives rather than the bad. Cultivating a positive mindset is not always easy, but it is possible. One way to do this is by practicing gratitude. When we focus on the things we are grateful for, we are more likely to attract positive experiences into our lives. Another way to cultivate a positive mindset is by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. By doing this, we can become more aware of our negative thought patterns and replace them with positive ones. Finally, it's important to surround ourselves with positive people and influences. When we surround ourselves with negativity, it can be difficult to maintain a positive mindset. But when we surround ourselves with positivity, it becomes easier to maintain a positive perspective. Remember, cultivating a positive mindset takes time and practice, but it is worth it. By focusing on the good in our lives and letting go of negativity, we can attract positivity and improve our overall well-being. We hope this video has inspired you to cultivate a positive mindset and embrace the teachings of Buddha. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you for watching our video on the art of mindset and how Buddha taught his disciple the power of a positive perspective. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, the Anything is Possible tribe. For more videos on mindfulness, spirituality, and personal growth. Have a great day. Stay smile. Namaste.